This sure looks like the old abandoned trail that they said there's no way to get to. Trail Tech and Public Land Riders. Let's go shred some tires. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel. We're back for day two of exploring. We are trying to get to the get over to that mine again. We just found some locals. We talked to them and they said no one's been to the mine in like five years since the last time someone even got in there. And uh, apparently they've been coming here for like 25 years and they never even found the trails or heard of the trails. That's what we are describing to them. So we're kind of doing a maiden voyage for uh, the first people in years, even trying to attempt to get into that mine. So we're going to have quite the adventure and we'll see where we, uh, where we get out to today. So right now we are just making our way back over towards um, where we left off the last video. And we are going to continue to look for this mine. So fingers crossed we can be like the first explorers in years to get there. That'd be really cool. So I'm quite looking forward to uh, this adventure here. Now we just gotta get down and across the little sketchy river. Had some slippery sons of guns in there. All right, so we're at a spot. I think we found where we need to go, maybe. We're gonna see what happens here. We found what looks like an old, old trail. After exploring all the different little dead end roads, this is the only one that we found that actually looked like it had some sort of reasonable trail on the map. And it's onto a trail called the Top of the World. And we're looking at it there in 3D and it's, it goes freaking up, man. This is exploration in its purest form. Nobody's freaking been up here. So right now we're an entire mountains range over from where the actual mine is. So we're gonna have to climb over this mountain and then back down into that river we initially crossed into. This looks it. Yeah. This looks promising boys. This sure looks like the old abandoned trail that they said there's no way to get to. Oh, there's lots of cobwebs. We got ribbons, so that's a good sign. All right, here's the first of your tree fall obstacles from no one riding in here in so long. Oh, this is raw nature, friggin' exploration, dude. Yeah, this is pure, pure rawness in here. Ah! This is what it's all about, boys. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're seeing what looks like to be some like fresh hand saw cut little t piece of timber and logs. So someone was like cutting some stuff out of the way so they could get up here. Now 
now we're just gonna follow this thing as far as we could possibly go and just see where it ends up taking us. I'm up for the adventure. Up we go. Definitely hard with the branches whapping you in the face everywhere. Don't look left. Alright, well, just quickly looked at the maps. It says we're on route, baby. So I'm pumped if we can get. I mean, this is all brand new. We never got to come here last time because the river was too deep to cross. But we have to cross it again, it looks like, eventually at the end of this trail if it uh, keeps going that far. So we'll see what we, we'll see what we get into, I guess. But uh, so far, absolutely loving it. This place never disappoints. I said it in my last video, I'll say it again. If you get the chance to come here, you gotta. Now, half of the thing when you come in these super old trails is, yeah, it's gonna be a little overgrown, but man, if we get to the end of this, it'll be so cool. And even if we don't, it's still part of the adventure. But this is just, this is the best thing. Just getting to go adventure with the old man. Go on these freaking deer biking adventures with him. If only Buddy Luke could have came with us. Oh, poor, poor guy. He would have loved this. If you're watching Luke, you can come with us in spirit. Pure goat trail. Love it. This is the type of stuff I live for right here. Just pure, pure exploration. So cool. Yeah, this would probably be one of the worst spots you'd want to break down in. Could be one hell of an adventure trying to get back, that's for sure. And the beta, oh man, I love this bike. So much fun, so cool, so good, does everything. And then street rides, like, come on. This is really the bike that does it all. Except for, you know, well, once again, it's like a, you can't have a bike that does everything perfect. You can only have a bike that does everything good, right? But I swear this bike does the is the best at doing it all out of all the bikes you could get to do it all. Especially if you're more uh, enduro focused. If you're more enduro focused than you are like street focused for riding, this is the bike. You know, maybe if you're more street than dirt, get like a CRF or it's the CRLs, right? The street legal Hondas, those will be better suited if you're doing more street than off. But if you want to tackle all the hardest stuff and then ride home on your bike, this is the one. But definitely not a street road tripper. And that's only due to the fact that it doesn't have that tall of gearing. Of course you can put taller gearing in it, but then it won't be as good in the techie trails when you want that low end. You know, it's all trades. But I've also seen guys that are using this as just a street bike, putting street tires on these things and supermoto wheels. I don't know if I go that far with this bike myself, but ah.
starts getting a little thicker here. Yeah. Unless there's another trail right there somewhere. Well, as you guys can see, this has got, become completely overgrown. So we got one other way to try. So we're just gonna have to give that a shot and see. Does this start getting a little, a little bit too thick? You're supposed to go like another 14 kilometers. Okay. Right Yeah, there's lots of hidden wasp nests in here. So unfortunate, but as like with all the rest of the trails, they just don't quite go. You can see someone would came for like a hike in here and start cutting some of these off. So that's why we were able to get as far, far as we were. Right, you can see cut on those ones. But we're not here to spend the day cutting this trail, so. We have yet to try this one. No idea where we're going here. Across the landslide. Biggest fucking spider web there. Okay, this is cool. Really just trying to figure out the trail here as I go. Where do we go? Woo -hoo. Woo. That was cool. Yeah. I hope this is the right way. No, this isn't happening. Oh, wash out? You got a six foot hole here. Disgustingly gnarly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that was disgusting. That just wasn't gonna happen. There's no way you're riding up that. An undercut, like six foot wall. No way. This trail was a really cool one though. But yeah, that seems to be the theme with this side of their riding park is that it's all um, washed out and overgrown. Like we were saying, those Guys that have been here for 25 years never even knew this stuff was here. Which is funny because this is now our only our second time here and we found out, I found out and read about it online for the first time we came here. Woo! We came from the right, but you could probably go left. <laughs> Let's hope we can go left. Get some of that airflow now going.
oh boy. This one's overgrown too. Off we go. idea what's coming just on the gas for the love of god don't fall left Be a huge hill climb. Just keeps going, boys. That's nuts. Freaking nuts, dude. This is awesome. Oh my god, don't look. Don't look. Just don't look. That is terrifying. This is freaking hella fun, man. This trail is wicked. Trail's a blast. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's a good one. That's a loop trail, man. You love that? That was cool. Yeah. Woo. That was fun. One of the best trails, man. That was so fun. I'm glad we took that one. That was a blast, boys. Wow, 
Now this one's tight and v -notchy. be some of like the best flowy berm sections ever right here. This is just amazing. Oh hell yeah. for a good old risky doodle into the river it's empty this time That's pretty. Oh, you got some nice mountains over there too. Now look at the meadow. Up yeah, there. that's beauty. This is goddamn fun. Giant log. Nice little creek. We're missing the bridge though. Well, that's not very nice of them. No. But I'm gonna take the opportunity of some nice cold water. Oh, well, that one was filled with a dead end too. Feels like every spot we go to is just filled with dead ends everywhere. But that's part of exploring, right boys? we go. Holy crap. Oh. Holy. 
Wow, that was nuts. Yeah. This is fun as.